Hello, beautiful Pisces, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sign. What's up, you guys? It's Jessica, and it's Trust and Truth to Roll. Go ahead and hit that like button for me, you guys. If you love me like you say you love me, anything you need to know is in the description box below. I am open for personal readings at this time. All right, so I want to thank all my beautiful channel memberships, my viewers, with my subscribers, all of you guys. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me. Okay, cross watches third parties. So let's go ahead and get into this. This is the next person that you are attracting in love. This is new love. This is not somebody old. So if you are listening to this and this sounds like a past person, that means you are attracting the same type of fucking person in your life. Keep an open mind as you hear these messages, okay? This is all about your energy, baby, and what you're attracting, okay? So keep an open mind, Pisces, all right? So if you have some unhealed trauma, unhealed wound, if you need to work on self-love, this is going to be showing you what you're attracting. If you are healed and you are open to receiving love, this is going to show you what you are attracting next in love. This is a new person. What is new coming towards Pisces? Who is this person? How are they feeling about Pisces? What is it that you want me to tell them? My beautiful Pisces. What are they attracting in love? What's coming towards uh, my beautiful Pisces in love? All right, what's coming next? What is the next thing that they are attracting in love? What is the next thing that they are attracting in love? The next person that they're attracting in love? What is it that I need to let them know about this person? Separation, the time apart from your partners on the horizon. Wedding, wow, the situation involves marriage. Some of you guys are attracting somebody that is recently separated from someone. Possibly there could have been a divorce. Um, this person, yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like this person has recently gone through some type of separation. I feel like this person is on separation from um, someone that they were in a committed relationship with. Or, yeah, there's an energy of, like, leaving, separating from that person. Um, you guys need to know. Your person is on some type of separation from somebody who they were in a committed relationship here with. Who are you attracting new in love? They just recently divorced. Tell me more. They just recently divorced. Some of you guys, yeah, they have just recently, it feels like recently divorced. They're all, like So we have true love. This is a romance of a lifetime. And then we have calling in your soulmate, your prayers, affirmation, and visualization to help bring you together. Yeah, you guys, this is somebody that um, I really feel like this person feels like something is happening very quickly here with you and they weren't expecting this shit at all. They weren't expecting to fall in love so quickly. They weren't expecting to meet anyone at all. They were just not expecting to meet someone like you. They were not expecting. They feel like you are the love of their life. They were not expecting to feel so deeply about you, to connect so quickly with you, or to even have this type of connection with anyone. Because this is somebody that just recently divorced or recently separated from somebody that they were with for a long time. Keep an open mind. When I say recently separated, I'm saying that maybe this person was never married to this person. Maybe this was common law marriage. Maybe they were just with this person for so long. They were on and off or dating this person for 10 years or, or eight years and it was almost like common law marriage. Like, so they, they just recently separated with someone who that they were dealing with for so long, you know, or they are recently divorced. Overall energy is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So yeah, I just feel like, wow, the timing of this is crazy. At the back, we have release your ex. The time has come for you to clear your energy. Constantly in these two cards, we're talking about time, time, time. And then we have true love. This is a romance of a life time. So the thing is, is that you guys are going to meet unexpectedly is what I'm hearing. And I'm hearing that, yes, honey, this is your soulmate. Um, this is your, like, this person is saying you are their person. You are their person. Like, there's like no way in hell where they think like, they, they feel like there was no way in hell that they could ever meet someone like you. They didn't never thought that this could happen in a million years in a million years that they will find someone like you, that they would just meet someone like you. Um, you know, someone who, the soulmate card is like someone who has so much, like who shares some of the same, I want to say same goals as them, same values as them, same dream as them, uh, that feel the same way they that they do about certain things. I feel like you guys share a lot 
Um, yeah. Like, you guys really feel... Like, I feel like your love language may be the same, too. Like, your love language... You, both of you guys have the same type of love language. Um, someone that they can feel so open and open to talk to and so comfortable to explore things with. Um, wow. <laughs> this is deep. Maybe this connection is deep. I'm hearing this is deep. This person really feels like... Yeah... This, they feel like this is definitely divinely guided. They feel like this connection was divinely guided and they feel like they weren't looking to connect with someone like you to ever feel this way. And I feel like they feel like they've never felt this way about someone before. Um, <laughs> this calling in your soulmate, your prayers, your affirmation, your visualization help bring you together. Why do I feel like both of you guys were praying for one another? I feel like, again, this is somebody that's, been divorced or recently divorced or recently like separated because I feel like it's recent because at the back we have release your ex the time has come for you to clear your energy but not for all of you guys some of you guys it's going to be like this person um their last connection or their last relationship was a very serious or committed relationship okay and I really do feel like this person was definitely praying um, to find the love of their life. And I feel like you were also praying. I feel like both of you guys were praying for this. Like both of you guys were praying for someone like, <laughs> I'm like, in all my life, I pray for someone like you. And I hope, listen, I pray God, and I pray God that I, that I finally found you. Hey. Okay, so yeah, this person feels like they finally found you. Like they never thought that, like that. It's like this person feels like their prayers are being answered. Their prayers are being answered. Like, God, you are listening to me. Like, oh my gosh, I did not know that my, that you heard my prayers. Like, that's how they feel about you. Like you heard my prayers when, when you sent me to this Pisces, when this Pisces came into my life. And I thank God that I, that I finally found you. Yeah, this person is like, this person feels like you are once in a lifetime. Like, they feel like you are one in a million You are one in a million. Okay, Ali. Okay, Aaliyah. Yeah, well, you are one in a million. That's how they feel about you. This person was praying for you. This person was praying for you, Pisces, that you would come into their life. I feel like you also was calling this person into your life. Mm -hmm. You may have been affirming this person. You may have been affirming someone like this person into your life. I, have, I feel like you have been affirming this person into your life. You have been calling this person in. You have been manifesting this person. You guys were, and this person may have been praying for you. Like somebody, yeah, and I feel like it's mutual because the soulmate card is here with worth waiting for. This is something that you mutually, hmm. Honey, do you know how it feels to pray for something? For praying, it's like praying for someone to find you or to find you're praying for a specific person, like a specific woman, a specific man, and this person appears in your life. It's almost like you can't believe that it's true. You can't believe that it's real. Also, I want to get one more card in here because this person can't stop. They can't believe. Yes, getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. You guys are about, yes, this person feels like you are definitely their soulmate. You guys, this person is saying that, oh my gosh, they never knew that they could meet someone that has so much in common with them. Like, it's like the way you love, the way you talk, the way you think, the, like they love the way your mind works. I'm also seeing in this card that like, what's the word? Like they are bat, they are they are mesmerized. They are they are mesmerized by you. This person is so mesmerized by you. 
And I told you, they feel so comfortable with getting to know you. It's so easy to talk to you. It's so easy to like open up to you. It, it's like you're, you intrigue them. <laughs> you are so intriguing to them. Like this, I'm hearing this person could listen to you talk for hours. They could listen to you talk for hours. This is really nice. I'm telling you who you're attracting. And it's all positive cards here. I don't feel like this is someone that is still committed to someone else. Yeah, because at the back, we have release and separation. So I do feel like, yeah, I feel like this person is definitely have cut ties or released themselves from a situation. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know why I'm getting recently divorced or they've been divorced um, or like they have recently separated, like in a way from someone that they actually been dealing with for a very long time, on and off maybe, or a very long time, common law marriage type thing. Um, and I just think they realize that that person is just no longer compatible to, like, they. I feel like they also realized that this person was never compatible to them or they didn't share the same type of feelings or emotions or goals, aspiration, dreams, things of that nature. Uh, this next person that you're attracting in love who is this next person that you're attracting in love, Pisces? Who is this next person? Whoa. This person is a whole lot of things. They, they feel a whole lot of things for you. Okay. Who is this person? What's their um, love message to you? We have you will hear from me soon. So I feel like Spirit wants you to know that this person is coming into your life very soon. Whoever this person is, they are coming into your life very, very, very soon very soon, Pisces. This is not, I don't feel like this is going to be a couple of months. Uh, I'm not seeing this is going to, I don't know. I'm not getting like, I don't know why I'm not feeling like this is going to be more than three months or more than six months. Like I'm not getting that you have to, like, I'm going to put it up here. Six months or less, this person will be in your life. But I don't even feel like that's for, that's everybody's different, but I'm hearing because I'm talking to a whole bunch of Pisces right now, Six months or less, this person will, appear, within six months, this person is going to appear into your life. Okay, you will hear from me soon, but I don't know why I'm hearing very soon. You, this person will appear in your life within the next six months. For some of you guys, it's going to be very sooner. It may like be within the next month. It may be next month. So I'm hearing as sooner, like it's going to be as soon as like one month, no more than six months. Oh, who is this person? What does Spicy need to know? <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't lying to you, baby. This person is going to fall head over. Like this, like what I love about, what I love about this is that this person is going to be the first one to tell you I love you. They're going to be the first one to say, I love you. It's not going to be you, Pisces. They're going to tell you that you're going to hear this person say, I love you. And this person is going to mean it. And it's going to be sincere. And it's going to be genuine. And it's going to be real. Um, and it's not going to be, this is not infatuation. Like this person is saying, I love you. I love everything about you. Like this person loves you for you. This is somebody that loves you for you. This is not that uh tip like when people just say oh i love you i love no this person is saying i love you because you're you ooh okay because there's nobody like you <laughs> tell me more who is this person this person is really going to hmm. Hmm. i like that this person loves you for your authentic self they love you for you and mesmerized by you We have, I'm upset with myself. <laughs> it's like the way that I'm seeing these cards fall is funny to me. This I'm upset with myself, Pisces, is I really feel like this person, um, yo, this is somebody that's really like, um, this person is very serious about you. They're very, very serious. Very serious about you. Um, they're very hard on themselves. This I'm upset with myself is someone who's very hard on themselves. Um, 
this person may be like a Virgo. This this is like a Virgo. This is this is giving me Beyonce energy. Who, who else? Who any other any other Virgos that are this person is a perfectionist because it's lying under this card with getting to know each other. So this person is a perfectionist. They don't like to mess things up. They think they like things to be perfect. They like. <laughs> This person is giving me Virgo energy, someone who's a perfectionist, someone who um, is really, really serious about their life, serious about their crafts. Like, it's like they're sensitive about their shit, right? They're sensitive about their crafts. They're sensitive. They're very serious, too. So this is what this is giving me, okay? This is someone that is very hard on themselves. Um, and I want to say, like, hard on themselves in a negative way, but <laughs> they want to be their best. They want to look their best for you. They want to do their best. I feel like this person, um, first initially meeting you, they may stumble across their words here with you. Tell me more. We have I'm not over you. <laughs> Let's put this back here. I feel like this person now because I don't have a card in here that says this I am going to take this for this but I do feel like this person is head over they, this person is going to fall because I put this right here and it's under I love you so I feel like this person is going to fall head over heels in love with you it's going to be like instantly. It's going to be very instantly. I'm also getting, what was I getting in this? I'm not over you. Um, <laughs> I feel like when you talk, like you guys, <laughs> this is crazy because you will hear from me soon and we have, I'm not over you. This person hates getting off the phone with you. They hate to have to stop talking to you. Oh my gosh. I'm getting like this person may be a little obsessed over you. I'm sorry, but this I'm not over you. I don't want to like make you guys a little too worried about this person. But I'm also getting that this person can be a little like... Like this person claims you. They are a little possessive over you. <laughs> this person may be a little possessive over you. Tell me more. We have, I never meant to hurt you. Yeah, this person is very careful with you. This person is not somebody who wants, they don't, they don't, they don't want to play games with you. And they're really like, like this person takes you very serious. Like this person is trying to, um, they're trying to make you feel safe in love with them. They're trying to make you, make you feel like, it's like, they're also trying to like, they're trying to, they may be doing something over and over again. This I'm not over you is that this person is constantly having to do something over and over. It's like they're constantly having to tell you that I will never hurt you or I won't hurt you. Like they they really want you to understand that. And the overall energy is you are worth more to me. This is somebody that sees your worth. Yeah. Will you marry me? At the back of the deck, this is somebody that wants to be married again. You know, this is somebody that is someone that jumps into marriage rather quickly. This is somebody that wants to be married. They jump into marriage rather quickly. Um, for some of you guys, this is new love. This is someone new because that's what we're reclaiming. This is someone new. And I and I hate to say it, but for some of you guys, this is a renewal of love. This is someone for you guys that is coming back into your life that may have been waiting and they wanted to talk to you. They're not over you. They never meant to hurt you. They're upset with themselves and they realize that they love you. And they're like, I know your worth. I see your worth. And this person also may want to marry you. You get what I'm saying? So some of you guys feel like this person feels like you are the love of their life. Um, they may have realized that you are the love of their life. Um, and, and, and I'm just telling you like it is, you know, this may be for some of you guys. It's going to be your energy and your past. For some of you guys, it's, it's someone new, and this is the energy that you're attracting. And for some of you guys, it's just someone that you've talked to, but maybe things never really went the distance or it never really got up off the ground. 
and this person is you're hearing you will hear from me soon I love you and they're upset with themselves they're saying you're going to hear from them soon because they feel like you are the love of their life they are trying to call you they're trying to reach out to you they have been trying to call you they have been trying to reach out to you maybe you block them they're like they they're not over you they love you they've been waiting for you like um they've been waiting to hear from you they can't get over you. No matter what they do, they can't get over you. They they see your worth now. And this person is someone that is going to want to marry you. Like, they're going to want to marry you very quickly. Um, they're going to try to be, yeah, like, please know that they're going to bring marriage up to you. But, yeah, even if this is for some of you guys, for most of my Pisces, this is a new energy. This is a new person. Know that this is somebody that wants to get married again. They want to be married. They want, they, they value, like, a, like committed relationships or being in long-term committed relationships like but I, I am getting a little possessive like they they want to know that hey this is they, they this isn't somebody that wants to walk down the street and say hey this is my woman this is my man you know that's kind of sexy to them like they they value they love that they love to say hey this is mine this is my woman you know knowing that nobody else can have you right so this is what I'm seeing okay so I hope this helps and assist you guys in some way um, however this resonates to you, I hope this helps and assists you guys.